Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose, and if you're new here, I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, since I have a super smoky eye makeup look on, I just actually finished filming a recreation of a JLo makeup look, so stay tuned for that. And it was a really intense eye makeup look, as you can see, and so I thought it'd be the perfect time to share with you guys some of my favorite nude lipsticks that really complement and pair well with an intense smoky eye. So let's get right into it. And for fun, let's start with the cheapest one in the group. It's the Milani Cosmetics. It's a matte lipstick. It's 410 Pleasure. If you're not new to my channel, you'll definitely recognize this lipstick. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely recognize this lipstick. I love this lipstick so much. It's a drugstore favorite of mine. I believe it's under $5. And the formula is amazing. So this is my personal lipstick, which is why it looks probably a little beat up. So let's go with this one first. This is one of my favorites that just goes so well with a smoky eye. All of these go well with a smoky eye. So let's just start swatching them. Now, I'm only gonna show you guys some of these lipsticks with lip liner and really just the ones that are very, very uh, nude because I don't wanna look like I'm, you know, dead on camera. So let me just pair this just with a, a touch of Oak lip liner from MAC because you'll get a better sense of how this lipstick will look because, you know, I wouldn't recommend wearing a super nude lipstick of any kind without a lip liner. So that's just my, my tip to you. And that is Milani Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Pleasure. Before I go on to my next lipstick, I'm going to apply just a little more of Oak Lip Liner from MAC. Oak from MAC as well as Strip Down or essentials like these are like essential shades of lip liner for like and so many different nude lipsticks if you're my skin tone a little bit deeper or just a little bit lighter these are gonna be great great nude shades for you moving on to my next pick this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks in general and fun fact this is actually the first lipstick that i ever purchased from mac like way before I ever worked for the company. I bought this with my hard-earned money and I was broke at the time, so this was like really hard for me to purchase this lipstick. This is Honey Love from MAC. And if you've never tried Honey Love, it's just a classic. Like it is a classic, classic nude lipstick. It looks beautiful on so many different skin tones. Again, if you're my complexion, a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter, it's going to look beautiful on you. It's just a classic nude. So let's apply Honey Love. So that is MAC Lipstick in Honey Love, and this is a matte formula in case you cannot tell. Both these last two formulas are very matte. I'm gonna switch my lip liner for the next lipstick. This is the Givenchy. It's number 10 Beige Mousseline. I love this lip liner. It's a, a beautiful, natural nude shade. So I'm gonna line my lips first. The reason why I'm switching my lip liner is this has more of a pink undertone. It's like a pink, natural nude undertone, which is going to be the theme of the next two lipsticks I'm gonna show you guys. So this is gonna pair really well with those two nudes. Now onto one of my all-time, all-time favorite, more pink nude lipsticks. This is Adrian by Chanel. I have purchased so many of these lipsticks, like this shade in particular from Chanel. This is such a great, great classic shade. I've given countless ones of these to my clients so they can walk the red carpet or go to an event and be able to retouch their lipstick. And which is really sad. It's really hard for me to get this lipstick up, but I'm always finding myself rebuying this shade because I have generous moments where I give them to my client because I'm like, oh no, you need this lipstick. You need to touch up with it. It's gonna change your life and it does, but 
Moving on, let's apply Adrian from Chanel. And so Adrian has a different finish from the other two lipsticks. This is more of a satin shiny finish, which I think is really pretty and more like satiny or shiny glossy finishes and a nude lipstick when you're pairing it with a really intense smoky eye can be really soft and really flattering. So if you don't like a matte one and you want more of a pink that's got a glossiness to it, this is it. This is the one to get. So once again, that is Adrian Lipstick from Chanel. And it kills me to take this lipstick off because I hate wasting this formula and especially with the price tag that it has, but I'm going to reapply that Givenchy lip liner for our next lipstick. So the next lipstick is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is more of a satin finish. It's very, very pigmented. It's like a thick, it's not like a sheer uh, formula at all. It has a lot of pigment to it. And this is in the shade JK Magic. This is a little more on the peachy nude side. Let me show you guys. Goes great with that Givenchy lip liner. So that is Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic. Now the next round of lipsticks or lip shades, unfortunately, I have depotted them. I've taken them out of their original vessel, which kills me as a, a con the consumer in me, it, it just kills me. I don't like taking things out of their original package. I know I'm a pro makeup artist and, you know, it's really hard to carry around hundreds of products, you know, on the daily for your clients and for jobs and shoots. And it is very, very heavy to do so. But when I depotted, most of my favorite lipsticks. I've done two sets at this point with these huge palettes. So these palettes, they're like pro palettes. You can get them, primarily I've only seen them at like pro um, makeup stores. So I bought these at Nigel Beauty Emporium in Los Angeles. Um, so if you're in LA and you're a makeup artist, they carry these there. They're actually really expensive. They're like $40 empty and they're just a piece of plastic. That's it. Just a piece of plastic. I'll try to link the name, the brand. The brand is like pretty rubbed off because I used the, the heck out of these. But so long story short, as soon as I depotted my first palette, I instantly regretted it. And then I had so many other lipsticks that I was carrying around. And so I thought, you know what? I, I bought two of these empty palettes. So I don't want to waste the purchase. I thought I'm just going to bite the bullet literally. And I'm going to put my bullet lipsticks in these palettes and I just have regretted it ever since. I just don't like the way they look in these. I don't like the way they look deep potted at all, to be honest, but that's just me. I totally regret deep potting my lipsticks. I, like I said, like as a makeup fan, I there's nothing like having a pretty bullet lipstick. There's just nothing like it. I'm such a consumer at heart and I love high quality, pretty things. Even if it's not like high quality, like this Milani, look how cute this packaging is for five bucks. And to deep pot it, it just kind of strips it of its like specialness to me. So anyway, the long story short, like my rant is over. I am super regretful for depotting any of my lipsticks. I hate that I did it. I hate the way they look in these. I hate holding these, but it saves me a ton of weight in my makeup kit. But anyway, long story short, the rest of my lipsticks that I'm going to show you guys are depotted. So which means I'm going to open them up. I don't have the actual physical bullet container to show you guys. So I'll be scooping them out, which I do when I'm working as a makeup artist and applying them with a lip brush. So it's not gonna be as satisfying. But the next one that I'm going to show you guys is from Dior. It's Dior Matte Lipstick in 505. So I'm gonna scoop it out right now. So this is what it's going to look like. Not very satisfying, not very pleasing to the eye, <laughs> but the color, is beautiful, so I have to show you guys. So I'm gonna go back to my Oak Lip Liner from MAC because this is a beautiful pairing. So Oak Lip Liner from MAC with that Dior 505 is a gorgeous combo. And then taking my 
sad lipstick on the spatula, and a lip brush. And this is a very, very nude lipstick. So once again, this is Dior Lipstick in 505. For the next lipstick, I'm gonna go back to my Givenchy lip liner because it has a little more of like that pink undertone to it, which is going to pair perfectly with our next color. So scooping out our next one, this is the shade Heartthrob from Buxom Cosmetics. These were all sent to me from the brand. They, they all launched at the same time. It was like a whole collection of like really, really pretty nude lipsticks, but they really got it right because they sent out like a whole PR package of, well, and they launched at the same time, obviously, an entire collection of nude lipsticks. But this collection of nude lipsticks ranged from ones that would be complementary to the fairest skin to the deepest skin. And they got the colors perfectly. Like they were, they nailed them. They're so beautiful. I have all of them depotted in this same palette. But for this eye makeup look and for my skin tone, I'm gonna to be showing you Heartthrob, which has more of a pink tone to it. So once again, that is Buxom Cosmetics Lipstick in Heartthrob. I'm gonna switch up the lip liner one more time for the next lipstick. This is LA Girl Cosmetics Lip Liner in Cafe. If you watched my drugstore favorite lip liners video, you'll definitely remember this color. I love this lip liner. It's like $4 and amazing. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lightly shade in my lips first with this before I move on to my next color. So the next shade is a matte lipstick. This is from Huda Beauty. It's in the shade Anniversary, and it's a great classic nude. And I love Huda Beauty's matte lipstick formulas, and they're so, they're such a great formula. They, they're long lasting. She's got some incredible shades. So once again, that's Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Anniversary. I'm gonna go back to my Givenchy lip liner for this next shade. So the next shade is Blankety from MAC, and this is going to be a really glossy finish lipstick, which again, I love for like a nude lipstick. Super flattering. It has a little more of like a pink undertone to it. So that is Blankety from MAC. So that wraps up this video. These are just some of my favorite shades to pair with an intense smoky eye. So if you're 
hitting the town, you're going to a party, you're going to a, a nighttime event and you're doing an intense smoky eye, these are just some of the lipsticks that I love to pair with that kind of look. Let me know if any of these are your favorites as well. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Makeup by Nicola Rose and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.